Hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I just want to let you guys know that there could be possibly fake F60 motors floating around um, from Banggood, honestly. Or maybe everywhere else, possibly AliExpress and all that other stuff. Now, I got these first uh, in the mail. And um, I might show you the footage of what happened with this one. Um, but, so I got four of these first and you can see the copper windings are very packed in there and they're very light okay now i don't know if they're fake or it's a bad batch um i don't want to run to jump to any conclusions yet i've contacted t motor they still haven't replied to me i think i sent them like two or three emails i'm not sure um but anyways i've tried contacting them they're just not replying or anything i've even uh, tried contacting the distributors in uh, europe but that's not the point anyways um <clears throat> what we have here is these motors and I said I put them on a real AAC X210 I put in the props I laid it down in the car I went to grab my goggles and prepare my stuff I started hearing cracking noise and all of a sudden I just hear boop something just popped and I just look at the quad and I see that on, on the quad I see this uh, <clears throat> uh, the, the, the propeller is just gone and it's broken I'm like and I just look at it and I just looked at it. I put a battery in the quad and there was no battery in the quad. So obviously this is a, I would say, I thought it was a bad batch. So <clears throat> I went home. I was, I was very disappointed. I was very frustrated. If I show you that video, you'll see how pissed off I was. Um, I went home. I contacted Banggood. They sent me a replacement motor. Okay. Now the replacement motor they sent me, this is another one, this one I bought with my own money just to make sure what I was doing is right. So <clears throat> the replacement motor, I've set it up on the real AAC X210, which is exactly like this one. And, you know, okay, the sticker is different, obviously, okay, but everything else looks pretty much the same, but the windings are completely different. The color, the amount, and uh, even just the feel of it. So... These magnets uh, feel a little bit stronger than these. These are just like super smooth. And so I replaced the motor. I said that's fine. Maybe maybe there's some kind of different version. But I mean, it's, it's, it's just big difference. You know, it's very obvious there's a huge difference in here. So I didn't know what is what. Now, <clears throat> I put in the new motor. I did the same thing. I put on the props. I put it in the car. I'm getting my gear. I start hearing more cracking noise. I'm just looking at it like, what is cracking? It's, you could, nothing is connected to it. It's just cra it's making cracking noises. And the props were already on there, so I didn't put any new props that this could be cracking. I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's just like once I opened the uh, back of my car and the wind started hitting it, and it wasn't much wind. It was just good weather that day. You just hear cracking noises, which is very, very trippy for me. I just tripped out. I'm like, why is it cracking? What, what is that noise? Anyways, I went to go spin the motors just to feel them. Two of them were almost rock solid. You can't even spin them. You can't even feel the magnets. So that was very strange. So I knew I knew something's up here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I then that maybe the day after that, I received my F40 motors. And I looked inside on the winding. Since it's the same company, it should be using the same kind of components for all their motors. And they look like the second motor I received. So I contacted Banggood and I told them that something is up with my motors and this this is either a bad batch or they're either fake motors and I sent them a video to show them the difference and they just replied to me and they just sent me replacement another three replacement because I already replaced one and the replacement that I received was also like this one which is I believe this is the original and this is the uh, real one so I'm trying to contact uh, Ryan from Mini Quad Test Bench. I want to send him a couple of the fake ones here. I'm sure he has the original one, so he can compare and see the difference. Now, I'm not a professional in these. I just, you know, I just see what's obvious, and it's obviously something's different. The the color of the windings, the, the copper, and the uh, the the amount of copper in there. This is just totally packed. It's crazy. <clears throat> This is very nicely uh, spun up. This is not. This is just like, just, it's just going everywhere. So I just want to let you guys know, just be careful when you buy these. And uh, I believe the originals should look darker. The windings should be darker. And the sticker, I don't know anything about the sticker. I have no idea. But um, and I really don't care about the sticker. It's just the inside that matters. So 
yeah, I just want to let you guys know out there about this issue. And um, uh, if anyone had the same problem, uh, I, I would be very interested to hear about it. And maybe we could all try to contact Team Mode and figure out what's up with this problem. And um, <clears throat> and yeah, and there's also possibly fake Emacs floating around since the uh, Emacs introduced their anti counterfeit system. I don't know if you guys noticed it. And it's actually got me afraid because I have like maybe 14 Emacs motors and I haven't used them yet. And uh, uh, I'm afraid they, some of them might be fake and might cause me problems. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's also to note there. So just be careful, guys. Uh, do your research when you receive it and get from buy your components from a place where they will refund you or resend you the correct product. So... Um, now Banggood didn't really tell me anything about this. They just said, well, okay, we're just going to resend you. So uh, it would be funny if I received some of these again. So that would be interesting. Uh, and I'll update, I'll update you guys on that if that happens. I'm hoping for these motors. Now let's just put this on the side. I have them on X210, the fake ones. So I'm just going to put the, 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 the real ones on the, uh, <clears throat> frog light frame possibly, or the Jeb RC, uh, leopard. The LX5. I just ordered it, so I'm waiting for that to come in now. Um, and it, I think it'll make a very good, nice quad with these motors. So, yeah. So I, I just wanted to let you guys know, and just to be careful. Uh, maybe some of you might have these fake ones. You can notice we see these are bright. These are actually darker than the normal copper you would see. So <clears throat> maybe I could do a little close up, so you guys get an idea um, of the difference. You know, it's different. It's difficult now. So, but you see, there's a huge color difference. These are really this dark, and these are really this bright, and these are very much packed. And the the strands are a lot thinner than these. These these uh, copper uh, copper strands are a lot thicker, not a, not by a bunch, but just thicker. And these just do not look professional at all. I don't know if you could. It's very difficult to show you guys. <clears throat> here, uh, yeah, it's very difficult to see. But the, the see, like right here, it's it's all like. It's it's it, lo it looks like a not professionally done. This one, on the other hand, is just beautiful. You know, <clears throat> so um, I'm ninety percent sure these are the fake ones. Uh, I could be wrong, uh, but since I received the F40 motors and they look exactly the same on the inside, then uh, then I'm sure these are the fake ones because it's just ridiculous what happened to them. Oh, and by the way, these uh, down here strip so easy. So uh, one of them will just tighten it up and it just slides off. I just ruined the threads in here. But it doesn't matter anyways because I didn't even get to fly it. So <clears throat> that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I just wanted to raise awareness on this problem and for you guys just to be careful with these. And always question what you get and research what you got because there's a lot of fake stuff now starting flo floating around because uh, the market is on such high demand and it's increasing ever, really, ever so fast. So, yeah. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. Take care. Happy flying. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, please let me know. All right. Take care. See ya.